What's good, Zelda fans? D-Rock here, and over the last couple months, and by months, I mean years, <laughs> in the Zelda community, there has been a lot of speculation and theories going around about when the fandom will finally get the chance to sink 100 plus hours into the sequel to Breath of the Wild. Other than those two magnificent teaser trailers that we have already seen, and the one thing that Nintendo has confirmed, which is something I covered in last week's video, it's been a very dry season for anything Breath of the Wild 2 related. One of the most common predictions or theories I've heard is related to the release date for Breath of the Wild 2 and that is that it will release sometime during the holidays in the upcoming year 2022. Well and if I'm being honest this is going to trigger some of you I completely disagree with this and if you've been a part of the Zelda theory community here over the last couple months I think you know where I stand on this release window prediction. Today's video will be focused on my detailed opinion on why I think we won't see the sequel to Breath of the Wild until at least 2023 and possibly even late 2023 around the holidays. I do want to emphasize that this is not a video that has the intention of spreading negative vibes, but that it's a video from the heart of a true fan of this amazing franchise, so if you do disagree, just please keep an open mind and allow others in the comments to voice their opinion as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things Zelda, and let's dive in. Now to be completely blunt, one of the reasons why Nintendo hasn't given us any information regarding the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is that Nintendo, through the development process, I believe that they decided they wanted to add more content to the sequel. Here's what I mean. You remember after the original Breath of the Wild was released and they added possibly one of the best story arcs in the game in the form of the DLC called The Champion's Ballad? Now if you know me well, you know that I don't really care for DLC, but this DLC in my opinion, it was a necessity. I don't want to focus on the DLC specifically in this video, but maybe in the future I'll make a video on it. But anyways, my point here is that Nintendo did clarify in an interview on why there was so much DLC for the game, and their reasoning was that they just kept having idea after idea pop up and they wanted to continue to add things to the game overall. Let's be honest, they also wanted to milk the crap out of the game as far as sales go as well, but who could blame them? I mean, after all, Nintendo is a business right? Anyway, these ideas from Nintendo started to pile up so much to the point that they finally decided that creating a sequel to the game would be a better option here instead of more and more and more DLC. This then led to Nintendo creating a sequel to Breath of the Wild. I absolutely love this move by them. I'm always a fan of developers deciding to make a sequel to a game rather than drop DLC after DLC, but that's just me. Look, I just think that this is the exact same concept here. I'm sure at one point they were like, yeah, let's let's shoot to have Breath of the Wild 2 release in 2022. However, there was just so much they wanted to add that despite reusing the same enemy concepts, the same map, etc, etc, the possibility of the sequel being postponed was starting to rear its head. I think another major contributing factor to the release of Breath of the Wild 2 being in 2023 in my opinion is that they're still trying to capitalize on the sales of their other AAA titles. As much as you, my fellow Zelda fan, don't want to admit there are other IPs that make a lot more sales than Zelda. Wow, that, that was hard to say. That was hard to say. No worries, I feel it too. What I mean is that games like Mario, Metroid, and even Pokemon are huge IPs that Nintendo just wants to make as many sales as they can before the hype dies out. As far as Pokemon goes, we literally just got the remakes of Diamond and Pearl, which were amazing by the way. Speaking of Pokemon, are you a Pokemon fan? Let me know which versions you picked up and if you beat it yet in the comments below. Now the other thing with Pokemon is that probably one of the biggest launches ever in Pokemon history, Arceus Legends, is set to release on the 28th of January. So we still have that game to sink time into, as well as potentially potential DLC that they will more than likely launch after Pokemon Legends has been out for a while, right? I know this is a Zelda focused channel, but man, that game looks so good. Is it just me or does it seem like everyone is starting to steal the open world concept from Breath of the Wild? Not to mention the massive success of Metroid Dread over the last couple months. I mean, to be honest, I didn't even realize just how massive the Metroid fandom actually was until the release of Dread. So there's another AAA title. Also. I don't know how true this is, but there were some rumors going around the Nintendo community that there would be a Super Mario Odyssey sequel as well, so there's that as well. <laughs> All of this just screams even more to me and to my point that we won't see Breath of the Wild 2 
at least for another year. Have I convinced you yet? No? No worries, I've got more. Now, I don't think there is any way I can legitimately ignore this one, and what I mean is the celebration of Zelda's 35th anniversary. Yes, I guess one could argue that Nintendo, in a way, did celebrate with the remake of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword or the Zelda Game & Watch, but to me this franchise that I love so much deserves way more than that if I'm speaking truthfully. Mario's 35th was right around the same time, and I'd be lying if I said that I knew the exact date because I don't really care too much about the Mario games. Although I do have to admit that Mario 64 was a classic. Anyway, Mario got so many things for its anniversary from the things I remember, and be sure to drop a comment if I miss anything, but there was a Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection, the Mario Game & Watch, the Mario theme Switch, Super Mario 3D World, and a Bowser's Fury bundle, and that whole Mario Kart Live Circuit thingy. I totally get it, again, that Mario does make more sales than Zelda, and that's why a lot of this happened. Totally understand. But again, Nintendo is a business at the end of the day. However, I would like to argue that I don't think Zelda is so far off from Mario sales in the slightest. I know for a fact that the fan base is way bigger as well, so you would think that this would lead to bigger and better sales, right? This is just another reason why I think the sequel to Breath of the Wild, uh, I wish I could just stop calling it that, <laughs> will not be released until at least 2023. Nintendo understands or at least I think they understand how important the Zelda franchise is to the fans. And even if not for that reason, I know for sure that they know that anything they release that's branded Zelda, they will make huge sales on. I think there will be a bigger, better celebration of the franchise. And we might even get that bundle of Zelda games that we all want in the coming months. If you know, you know. <laughs> Finally, one of the biggest reasons I can think of for a 2023 release date is that I believe that Nintendo will want to launch the sequel on the next gen Switch console. And here's what I mean. I kind of talked about this before in one of the last couple of videos that I made, but one of the biggest issues Breath of the Wild has was the massive frame drops in some of the best looking areas in the game. The, the Switch just couldn't handle it. I know Nintendo was smart in the past and they have listened to the fans and changed things for the better. Based on all the feedback that was given for Breath of the Wild and to the point of sales, I do think that Nintendo will intend on pushing this release alongside the release of the next gen Switch. And from a business perspective, it does make complete sense to me. Bundle one of your biggest selling IPs with your newly announced Switch Pro or whatever they decide to name that thing. It's just, it's a brilliant idea. Hey, listen, if you found any sort of value in this video, be sure to check out this playlist here for more Breath of the Wild 2 content. There's some theories in there as well as some things I'd like to see in the sequel. So if you're interested, go check out this playlist next. Much peace and love, be the light, and I'll see you over there.